Affairs is the Scottish Government's Community and Renewable Energy Scheme and it's there to help communities to engage and benefit from the transition to net zero. Achieving net zero is going to require action from us all and communities are going to have a big part to play in our transition to a low carbon future. Whether that's installing renewable heating in a, in a community building, uh, developing a heat network to warm our homes or generating clean electricity with wind, hydro and solar, uh, these are all projects which are happening now. Well it's really important that we look at enabling communities to be able to take forward uh, local energy projects that they believe can make a difference to the local community. Um, I've witnessed it close to my own constituency with the deployment of a wind turbine that not only will provide renewable energy but it also provide an income to the local community for wider social benefit in the area. And CARES can play an important role in helping to support communities doing exactly that type of thing within their area. So if they are looking at the potential for a renewable energy source within their community, get in touch with Local Energy Scotland. They'll be able to give them advice around this because it can help to add to all of the work we're doing to make sure we meet our net zero targets for 2045. We have had a, um, a solar PV um, system fitted on the roof of our um, school nursery, which is behind us. And we were able to do that with the support of um, CARES and through receiving a CARES loan, amongst other funding that we've had. We were involved in helping our primary school get solar panels and we were part of the fundraising and like raising awareness. We were seeing lots of things on the TV and reading about it online um, and we were really worried about all the stuff that's going on um, to do with like climate change and stuff like that. So we decided to take matters into our own hands and this was one of the things that we did. CARES were, was a fabulous support to us throughout the project. So they helped us with the, obviously, with the funding, but over and above that, they helped us to access um, the suppliers that we could get the quotes from so we needed to get four quotes um, out to tender before we went ahead with the work and they helped us to identify people that we could use. They helped us to liaise with the council that we needed in order to get the project's um, permission because obviously the school is owned by the council even though the solar panels are ultimately owned by us at the trust. They were there for support and guidance at every step of the process and for any school or community that was looking to do anything similar to what we've done here at Duddingston Primary School, they are invaluable. So the project is a community garden with outside beds and inside beds and a social endeavour which is the propagation endeavour that's in these tunnels behind us and literally it's taking from the very beginning, it's taking from seeds to produce. It's really, it's the start of something here in Brayhead. And what we, we want to do is use the, the potential of the energy to develop a social enterprise, to, to, to grow fruit and vegetables on a bigger scale than we've been doing for sale. And then not only can we sell them to generate an income which we can support other projects, we can give fresh fruit and vegetables to the lunch club and the community. So we, we, can, we can start to, to do an awful lot more. And what this will do for us is give us 20 years of a, a sort of comfort blanket where we will get some of the ongoing costs covered and we'll take one of our biggest outgoing costs, which is the electricity bill, away entirely. So it does an awful lot for us here at Brayhead. So what CARES has done is it's taken us from the beginning to the end of the project, provided advice, support, and access to funding all the way through at every step. It's been great. I'm uh, Abdul Wahid Khan. Uh, I'm one of the trustees. Uh, we, we are six founding trustees of this mosque, and we um, we bought this building um, about seven years ago, and uh, then turned into a mosque. And uh, we've been involved with the development, uh, upgrading, and uh, uh, management of this uh, mosque, uh, which is uh, the northernly most mosque uh, in Britain at the moment. It had. Um, serious upgrading needed so we insulated the shell uh, with the building um, uh, with the um, uh, Salutex uh, uh, um, uh, insulation panels we had uh, no technical clue about those uh, things like solar panels and batteries and we were contacted by this uh, very friendly and approachable uh, worker for cares and uh, she and uh, her colleagues came to the mosque explained to us about the project looked into the feasibility and, and literally 
uh, walked us through the, um, uh, the project and, uh, and also at that time there was a funding grants available from uh, various uh, organization and we got this uh, grant for the solar panel from um, uh, SEC uh, and, uh, and later on we had uh, supplemented that with the batteries uh, inside and, um, and we, we are, our work is carrying on at the moment and we may look into air heat source pumps and um, other devices to make it a, a completely carbon neutral um, status for this mosque. Loch Ness Hub came about as part of a wider community consultation here in the village and Glen. We were looking at a number of community assets here and the Loch Ness Hub developed out of what was formerly the Tourist Information Centre here. As a community owned building, it was hugely important to us that the building was not only sustainable but met our environmental targets. Now, CARES allowed us to address that. We obviously were in touch with Local Energy Scotland and we walked through a number of the opportunities that were available to us. The CARES funding was an immense help to, to the project in terms of air source heat pump, the solar panels. We had single glazed units in the building so we were able to change them to appropriate glazing and obviously working towards increasing our U value with insulation investment as well as changing the lighting system over to LED lighting. Moving forward, it will allow the building to be sustainable for the community and the overall aspects of running the building um, on an uh, economical and environmentally friendly basis. If there are any other community organisations, even in the setup phase, thinking about doing anything like what we've done here at Loch Ness Hub, um, I would say to them, get in touch with Local Energy Shotton, get in touch with CARES, talk to them, tell them about what you're planning, but allow yourself a lot of time to work through the projects, but use all the information that's already out there. You do not need to reinvent the wheel on this, and there's people there that want to help you, so use them. It was once said by Gandhi that if you want to change the world, you should start with yourself. And my view is that to me, there are zero ambitions. We need to ensure that communities and individuals in those communities feel empowered to play their part in helping us to achieve those targets. And that's why it's extremely important to programmes such as CARES that we help to support and enable local communities to play their part in looking at what they can do to support us in meeting our uh, net zero uh, targets. And that's why programmes like CARES have a really important role in helping to enable and empower local communities to play their part in making sure we tackle climate change and that's why it's a programme that can play an important part in helping to support communities in taking forward their activities on the ground to make a real difference. If communities aren't sure where to start, our website's a great resource. Uh, it's got lots of case studies and examples and things to give you ideas to get started. And use these ideas to start those conversations in your community and talk to your neighbours and your friends about what you might do and what might be right for you. Trying to change your heat and power to a renewable energy source uh, is a great way to make that building more sustainable, but it's more than that. It's also a way of starting that conversation and raising awareness about what you can do. It's a way of people seeing these technologies uh, and seeing how we're going to heat and power our homes in the future. And it's a great way to get those conversations going and think about what next to become a greener community. Mm -hmm.